All righty. Welcome on, ladies. I'm excited to cover today's topic, which is around cutting toxic people out of your life. And if you're in a situation where you see some of the relationships that you have in your life or the relationship with your affair partner is unhealthy and toxic and it's time to start to cut ties with them, then often you can feel that this process is really uncomfortable. And I want to offer a very different perspective in this process. So the relationship with cutting ties with unhealthy people, often it feels, it can feel if we approach it like a loss and like a real big burden to have to go through this process of cutting these ties with such strong, powerful or controlling energies or, or negative people, toxic people in your life. And so when you feel like, uh, I just realized that I don't have my mic on today, so I hope uh, this recording is okay. Um, but when you feel like you need to cut ties with someone, it can feel like a real drain and you could approach it with a lot of resistance. And what I offer is it doesn't have to be like that. And often if we're approaching the situation around, okay, this person is unhealthy, I need to cut ties and I need to end this behavior because it's not good. It can often feel like this big leap to take this, this um, dramatic action of cutting someone out of our life. And then when we cut them out of our life, we can often obsess, fear we did the wrong thing, constantly think about it, want to take back our boundary that we set and constantly feel in this like this push pull dynamic of ending this relationship and if you're in an affair dynamic and you are ending the relationship this is where it becomes really uncomfortable and when you grieve the process of ending an affair however Another way that you can go about this, and this is incredibly healing, is you don't have to go about it in regards to like, I have to cut ties with this toxic person or I have to end it because it's unhealthy. Instead, if we go about your healing journey in a way that's supportive to your nervous system, in a way that is uncovering truths and patterns that you did not know in yourself, that and in your dynamics with relationships of the past, then what you begin to see is you begin to see some of the relationship patterns that have happened in your past and what could be healthy and unhealthy. And when they are unhealthy, how you adapted to show up to be um, included, to be enough. Uh, if you felt shameful, how you adapted to to close the gap between that shame and if we actually look and uncover where that shame lies and where this anxiety is coming from and see some of the dynamics that are actually unhealthy here then we can begin to see uh, that pattern is not actually what I am making it mean is not actually correct and we can start to make it mean something different and see it with a different light and when we see our patterns with a new lens, it's kind of like taking off the rose colored glasses and putting on clear glasses. When we begin to see things from a very different angle, then instead of approaching the situation like I've got to cut ties with this toxic person, no more, set a boundary, harsh, and then you set it and then it's really uncomfortable and you miss them and it's, and it's a really hard process. Instead, if we look at some of this unconscious programming that you have been operating from that is not serving you um, and what you're unconsciously attracted to in your affair partner or in partners from the past relationships then we can begin to say hey this is a pattern that continues to show up in my relationships or this is what my affair partner brings to the table and this is what I make it mean and actually that's not correct and that's me operating from a place of shame. And how can I rewrite that lens? When we rewrite that story and actually see that dynamic isn't true and it isn't actually healthy. And what happens is you begin to actually become not attracted to it. And you look at the way someone shows up and shows that pattern. And you're like, mm, no, like 
that that doesn't interest me and that doesn't intrigue me and I am not motivated to get sucked into that because I I I don't sit well with that and so what happens is you start to create these unconscious boundaries where instead of consciously going in and being like I'm setting a wall up you're unconsciously rewriting the story and being like that's not what I am attracted to that's not who I am and instead of feeling like I I have I've got to cut these people out of my life instead it's like no I don't align with that and so I'm going to direct my focus elsewhere And so what I am wanting to get across to you is in the process of cutting toxic people out of your life and cutting relationships with your affair partner, with family members um, to, in order to support your growth moving forward, it doesn't have to be a really uncomfortable, toxic process where you've got to cut people out of your life and you feel really uncomfortable by it. It can actually, in fact, be you naturally shifting who you are and shifting your unconscious boundaries for what you are and what you are not attracted to and how you just show up moving forward. And naturally, what happens is the energy dynamics shift of who you attract into your life. And naturally, if you are ending it with your affair partner, naturally, it will feel like less of a loss and more so more of a game because you're like, I'm not entertaining that anymore. And so instead of feeling like over here where cutting people out of your life is a burden, instead it actually becomes a weight off your shoulders where you're like, I don't want to entertain that. It feels like a growth. It feels exciting. It feels like a step forward instead of grief and a loss. So I just want to cover that because it's so big when we are creating change in our life. It doesn't have to be a process that is so painful and confronting and it can actually be a real motivating, fulfilling and cleansing process where you changing is actually exciting um, and invigorating instead of something that you're losing, so to speak. Uh, So I hope that helps. Uh, This process can be incredibly fun. and, and, and therapy and everything like that can be incredibly fun if we approach it from the right angle um, and from the right layer first. So I hope that helps. Bye for now.